Welcome to Movie Caps. Today, I will show you an action thriller from 2019, titled, Cold Pursuit. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. Nels Coxman, a snowplow driver, and his wife Grace live a quiet life in the town of Kyo. The couple is often visited by their son Carl Coxman, who works at the Kyo airport. Coxman wins the Citizen of the Year award from the community, but the night does not turn out to be great for him, as his son, along with his friend Dante, gets kidnapped from the airport. On their way, the kidnappers inject him with a heroin overdose, that results in his death, while Dante manages to escape from the van. Meanwhile in Denver, a drug cartel leader, Viking, urges his son Ryan to be violent at school to take revenge on the bullies, but he refuses to do it because of his peaceful nature. Coxman and Grace are informed about Carl's death, and are called to identify the body. The doctor mentions the drug overdose as the reason for his death, but he does not believe him, knowing that Carl was never a drug addict. Grace gets devastated to see her son like this, and argues with Coxman over his lack of emotions. Distressed by his son's death, he tries to kill himself with his shotgun, but is interrupted by Dante, who has been hiding at the workshop since the incident. Although shocked by what happened to Carl, he narrates the entire incident to him, revealing Carl's death was not the result of an overdose. Enraged on hearing this, Coxman forces him to reveal the names and location of the kidnappers, and finds information about a guy named Speedo. He arrives at a local club, and confronts Speedo about his son's death, but he denies knowing anything. Instead, he begins threatening him while asking him to leave, but Coxman knocks him down. When he wakes up, Coxman again tortures him, to which he reveals he worked on the orders of a guy named Limbo. After confirming Limbo's identity, Coxman kills him and discards his body in the river. While going to drop Ryan to school, Viking is told about Speedo's disappearance, as he used to work for him. Ryan thinks he must have done something to him, but Viking assures him that he was not involved. After killing Speedo, Coxman finds Limbo at his workplace, and tortures him to get information about his leader. He then shoots him, and disposes of the body in the river just as he did earlier. When he returns home, Grace asks him about Carl's hobbies, but gets upset to know that he never bonded with his son. Back in Denver, Viking's ex-wife visits him, and informs him about filing a custody report for Ryan. He gets angry with her, and offers money in exchange, but she refuses to take it. Before he can convince her further, Viking is told about Limbo's disappearance, he starts investigating his staff and scolds them, while Ryan worriedly observes him. Meanwhile, Coxman continues his killing spree, and shoots another gangster named Santa, who was also involved in his son's kidnapping. Upon returning home, he finds that Grace has left the house, after being upset by his lack of grief over their deceased son. After being left alone, he visits his brother Brock Coxman, an ex-gangster, and explains the entire situation to him. Brock tells him they mistook Carl for Dante, who tried to steal gold from the drug lord Viking. As Brock used to work with Viking, he informs him that it is impossible to reach him. Coxman reveals he wants to take revenge for Carl, but Brock does not believe he can kill anyone, as he was never involved in such activities. As they discuss the situation, Viking is told about Santa. He gets suspicious, considering that a third person of his gang went missing within a week, and thinks his rival White Bull is behind all the mess. He tells his team that he used to work with White Bull, but later signed a contract not to interfere in each other's territories. He thinks they are violating the contract, and plans to teach them a lesson. Upon his orders, his men kidnap a guy from the opposite gang, and torture him to get the information. As he does not disclose anything, Viking gets angry and shoots him, without knowing that he is the only son of his rival White Bull. Kyo police detectives, Kim Dash and John Gipp, also receive information about the murder, and think it's the beginning of a turf war between two gangs, that can destroy the peace of the town. Although Gipp seems hesitant to begin the investigation, Dash urges him that they should do something to eliminate the upcoming threat. At Brock's house, he tells Coxman that Viking's real name is Trevor Kalkoti, and if he wants to kill him, he needs to hire a professional assassin. He tells him about a guy named Eskimo, and advises him to pay him up front, and he will do it for him. Upon his suggestion, Coxman contacts Eskimo, and invites him to town. While showing him the room in a local hotel, he offers him half of the agreed amount, but Eskimo thinks of him as a police officer, and starts arguing with him, but he satisfies him by proving his identity. Eskimo gets money from him, but then goes to Viking and demands the same amount, to sell the information that someone is trying to get him killed. They transfer the required money into his account, and he reveals Coxman wants him dead. Viking thinks it's Brock Coxman, as he used to work with his father and might have some old dispute. 
As soon as he gets the information from Eskimo, Viking scolds him for not honoring his deal with Coxman, and shoots him for his unethical behavior. As his men dispose of the body, Nels Coxman tries to seek further information about Viking or Trevor Colote. Viking arrives at Brock's house and offers him a ride. While in the car, he asks about the reason behind killing his men, and threatens to kill him. Already dying of rectal cancer, Brock decides to save his brother and takes the blame, saying he wanted to take revenge on him, because his father stole his woman from him. After listening to him and considering him a threat, Viking murders him as well. Meanwhile, the rival gang leader White Bull, grieves his son's death. He tells his gang about the old deal with Viking's father, but reveals it's over as they have repaid it with his son's murder. He plans to take revenge on him, and announces taking a son for a son. After finding out that Eskimo did not kill him, Coxman spies on Viking's house, where he spots him with his son, and finds out about his prep school. After killing Brock, and finding out that White Bull had nothing to do with his gang members' murders, Viking decides to reinforce his contract with them. To do so, he shoots his own man Dexter, and orders his team to send his head as a gift for White Bull. White Bull has already ordered to kidnap Ryan from his school, but asks them to wait, as he receives a message from Viking. His messenger presents Dexter's head, and tells him he was the one who killed his son, and they have punished him, because they want to keep their end of the deal. White Bull thanks him for the gift and shoots him, while insisting that he only wants Viking's son. In the meantime, Kim receives the information about Carl's death due to an overdose, and that he used to work with Dante at the Kyo airport. She visits Coxman and shares her concern, that she does not think he was killed by the overdose. She asks for his help to find out the truth, but he refuses, and says she cannot do anything for him now, as his son is already gone. Later, Coxman arrives at Ryan's school, and tells his father sent him to pick him up. Ryan, who has never seen him before, hesitates to go with him, but Coxman convinces him. White Bull's men spot him outside the school, and start chasing him, but he safely brings Ryan home. Viking receives the information about his son's disappearance. Before he can do anything to find him, his wife shows up again, and starts arguing with him for taking Ryan without his permission. He tells her about Ryan's abduction, but assures her that someone will call in with his demands for ransom, and he will get him free. On the other hand, White Bull's men receive a text on Dexter's phone, in which his gang member tells him about staying at a hotel. Soon, they track him down and kill him as well. White Bull and his team arrive at a ski resort in Kyo, to keep an eye on the Viking and his gang. Meanwhile, Coxman arrives at his house with Ryan, and offers to prepare lunch for him. Ryan asks about his family, but he tells him he does not have one. He treats him well and offers him to sleep in Carl's room, after accepting that he had a son, but he does not live with him anymore. He even reads him a story, and offers to give him a ride on his snowplow. While waiting for their next mission, the gang members enjoy their time at the resort, but White Bull misses his son, and reassures himself to take revenge. Back in Denver, Viking's men bring in a school janitor, who reveals Coxman took Ryan. Viking realizes he misunderstood the names, and it wasn't Brock but someone else who was trying to mess with him. Coxman calls Viking, and asks him to come over alone to get his son back. Viking assures him, but orders his team to go to Kyo. They raid his house, but cannot find anyone, as Coxman took Ryan out for a ride on his snowplow. They come across a police car, and Coxman introduces Ryan as his nephew. While talking to him, Gip tells him he saw many cars at his house, and Coxman realizes Viking has arrived. While searching his house, they find the company name from one of the pictures, and decide to go there to find Ryan. As Viking and his men head out, one of his men leaks the information, and tells White Bull about them. Coxman aims at their cars, and tries to shoot Viking, but is interrupted by Ryan. He quickly takes him back inside, and asks him to stay there until he comes back to pick him up. He once again tries to shoot him, but does not get a chance, and is caught by his men, who take him to Viking. He questions him about Ryan, but before Coxman can tell anything, White Bull and the gang arrive and begin shooting. A fight emerges between the rival groups, which kills almost everyone from both sides. Viking tries to run away, but Coxman traps him in his car, while White Bull shoots him. As he leaves the scene to get back to work, White Bull gets in the truck with Coxman. The police arrive at the scene and find Viking right before his death, while Ryan drives away in the snowplow. White Bull gets satisfied by Coxman, after realizing he is not a criminal. He puts his gun down and they drive away, while the last remaining gang member on a parachute, accidentally comes in front of them and gets killed by the plow. The End Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. 
turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.